So uh, Lomaloc is one of our three uh, young African lion males uh, that was born on the 9th of January of last year. And once he started walking uh, about four weeks or so, we noticed that uh, the keepers were seeing him not using one of his real limbs properly. And I did that initial exam and examined him and did not find anything really of a great problem. And he had uh, radiographs that were uh, taken at that time and the x-rays didn't really show us any bony problems. Late May of the same year, he had, was bigger, uh, about 30 kilos, 60 pounds at that point and he was not walking properly on his two, both of his back limbs. So that suggests to us a back problem. What we ended up finding at MedVet is that Lomaluk had, um, was presumably born with narrowing of the channels at the base of the spinal cord that carry nerves out to his legs. You can think of the spinal cord as a highway, carrying nerve signals from your brain out to the rest of your body. And between every set of vertebrae, there are exits that the nerves leave from. And in Lomalak's case, the last two exits all the way at the end of the highway have a lane closed in each direction. They're too narrow. Everybody's irritated, the traffic's moving slowly. And that's causing what we see physically as uh, his muscles not developing completely appropriately and him being clumsy in his gait. And it also causes some discomfort. So we managed him with some anti-inflammatory and pain control medications, and um, he did well for, for a little while. We started to notice some increasing clinical signs. We were having to increase doses of medication to manage his comfort. And um, so then just this past month, we brought him back to MedVet for a recheck MRI. And um, at that time, we discovered that he had slipped a disc um, in that same location down at the end of his, his spine. And so if we keep going with the highway analogy with the slipped disc, it is sort of like having an overturned tractor trailer in the middle of the interchange. And now, you know, traffic is, is just fairly completely blocked and, and barely crawling around on the margins. Um, at that point, our consulting neurologist suggested that we could do surgery to fix the problem. Um, and that Lomalak was now large enough, mature enough that, that she could recommend surgery for him at that point. The surgery that we're planning is called a hemilaminectomy. Um, it's going to use a, a drill to remove some bone from the top of the vertebrae, right at the location where that disc is slipped and is pressing on the spinal cord. So we remove that kind of roof of bone from that tunnel. We can remove the damaged disc material out from there that relieves the pressure on the spinal cord and the nerves. The hope is, and the neurologist um, would like to try to remove as much material as she could possibly do to um, kind of open up that space as, as much as she can, that may be able to relieve some of the original compression of the nerves exiting the spinal cord as well. And um, we may be able to, to get improvement beyond you know, where, where he was originally. The hardest part about this surgery yeah. is that ideally he feels a whole lot better right away and he's going to want to run and jump and play and climb on stuff and all kinds of things that we don't really want him to do because he's going to have muscles that need to heal and bone that needs to heal and um, he may not know that he needs to take it easy. So Lomalak's going to be behind the scenes for a a considerable amount of time for recovery. As we've been talking about the surgery and how we got here and then the post-op and where are we going, there are a lot of places along the way that could make this not successful. So if the surgery is great and successful, but he would be alone for the rest of his life because we're just too concerned that the surgery cannot handle him playing with another cat, or we are ready for him to play with other cats and he goes out with his brothers and they get into a really great rolling fest and they're having a wonderful time and he suddenly is unable to walk. That is a reality that we have to face. And it's a risk that we're willing to take because we think it's, this is the way to give him that best chance. His back may not be able to be fixed to the point that it needs to be. Like we may not be able to get out enough disc. And if we can't get out enough disc to make him at least as comfortable as he was, we don't want him to recover to that. It could be that all the medications in the world aren't enough. And if that isn't enough, 
Dr. Kate and I will have to make the difficult recommendation for our euthanasia, but we know that it's because we've done everything we can to that point and we, we would feel that it's, it's in his best interest at that time. We know that this is a lifelong condition. Lomalak was born with a spinal canal that wasn't shaped quite right. That's always gonna be the case. The surgery we're doing now can relieve some of that pressure, but probably can't make him completely normal. Our goal is that he's pain-free and able to be as active as he wants to be and lives a, a normal lifespan as a relatively normal lion. But we'll be monitoring him closely We'll be making sure he recovers well. We'll be making sure he stays comfortable. We may need to give him medications um, occasionally or continuously. And uh, our goal is to maximize his quality of life. Whether it is a success or not, it is still a success for him and for us to be able to move forward. Um, it may help another lion in the future. So we find that that's a very important thing.